you'll never think of GChat or Skype the same way again. You're watching Beyond the Trailer's review of Paranormal Activity 4. I'm across the street. His name is Robbie? Yeah. His mom went in the hospital. So he's just gonna stay with us? He doesn't have anybody to go? He has no relatives. I don't know. I've never met his mom. Front door. Open. Mom? Kelly might have created Paranormal Activity, but it's directors Henry Juice and Ariel Shulman who are keeping it alive and current. As you may recall, Juice and Shulman first came into the public eye with their documentary Catfish about the downside of making friends on Facebook. While some openly questioned the authenticity of the documentary, which claimed that the events it depicted actually happened, the directors had still achieved enough attention to land the Paranormal Activity 3 gig. And boy, did they deliver! Their Paranormal Activity 3 not only matched the original's box office total here in the U.S., but bested it overseas, making it for the most successful Paranormal Activity movie yet. And with that success, clearly the directors have been given free reign to put their own stamp on the franchise. Paranormal Activity 4 goes beyond home security systems and nanny cams, instead adding live video chats via laptop to the film's repertoire. And even more interestingly, in an amazing feat of product placement, Xbox's Kinect also plays a part in the horror. Also, for the first time, Paranormal Activity will focus on teenagers, which are a popular horror staple, instead of directly dealing with the Featherston sisters. Katie Featherston is a key player here, but not the star. So will this effort to appeal to the YouTube and Facebook generation pay off? Let's go find out. How many Paranormal Activity movies have you seen? All four of them. Do you still like the franchise as much as when it started? Mm, not really. Uh, it is. It could be funner if they explain more. It's good, but it just didn't hit you lay hit across home like part three. I kind of view it all independently. Like, I, I don't really see it as a franchise. I uh, just kind of see it per movie, yeah. I guess you could say. How was this one then? This was pretty good. Oh. I mean, I like the end. It was the best. That's when they started uh, doing scary yeah. stuff, right? I mean, the one I just saw right now, the ending was whack because they showed what happened, but not the whole thing. This is actually my first one. What made you decide to go now? Well, my girlfriend wanted me to go, <laughs> and I decided to go, to go because horror movies wasn't a big thing for me. So I was like, all right, you know what, let me just give it a shot. How do, what do you think of it? <sighs> I was disappointed. To prepare for this film last night, I just I saw Oh, all you did? Them. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so you really are a good judge of whether or not they're getting yes. better or worse. Are they getting better or worse? It's kind of hard to say. Like, okay. when it comes to the scare tactics, yeah. they still got it. Um, they should have, like, added a little bit more and have it more intense. Was it scary? Was the movie scary? Um, yes, yeah, it was. Okay. <laughs> Definitely startles you throughout the movie. Yeah. After a while, it's like, even though it, it does have a scary moments, it's like you can almost tell what's going to happen. In a way, it was scary, like, being by yourself. I just feel like they tried too hard. They tried to, they tried to make the audience so paranoid that the audience is making the movie, movie for themselves. Oh. They're so scared of what's gonna happen that nothing happens. But you weren't buying into it, so it wasn't scary for you. No. Right? Okay. But when it comes to the story, they have a few things to explain. Oh, okay. What do you think of this? You know, this is the first time they weren't focusing on the Featherston family. You know, they were they're in there, but the focus is these teenagers. Did you like that change? Um, I did. Actually, I kind of like the whole idea. It gets to see things from a different perspective. And then on top of that, it kind of hits a little closer to home. Like, it doesn't just affect people in that family. It affects people around them, too. Maybe so, you. Maybe me. Maybe you. <laughs> maybe whoever else is out there. Would you see a fifth film? Yes, definitely. I would. You would? No, I'm not 100% sure in theaters, but maybe. Of course. Oh, yeah? <laughs> I've, seen, I've seen all of them. So why, why do you not? keep going if you're not enjoying it as much anymore? Well, because in a way, you still want to see what happens. kind of want to know what happens next. What do you give this one on a 1 to 10? Three. In between a six and seven. Okay, what do you give it? I'd say like an eight. Maybe an eight. Nine and a half? Uh, I'd say about a seven. The Paranormal Activity franchise has its audience hooked and therefore might be letting the quality slip a little, with audiences overall giving this latest installment a seven. I'm Grace Randolph reporting from Regal Ewok, and I hope you'll go beyond the trailer for these other top movies.